Hi everyone, my name is Lena. Welcome to my channel. I'm an astrologer and I run a website where I write blog posts and take consultations and even offer online courses. So in this video, I will be discussing about conjunctions in Vedic astrology. Now this is the most important topic of Vedic astrology and this is so deep that if one understands this, he can really get to the hidden meaning or hidden message in the horoscope. So before I begin, I want to share that I have launched a new course that is Vedic Astrology course for beginners. So let me walk you through this course. Now this is the landing page of the course and here I have given all the details that you will get in the course. So firstly, this course is for beginners who are really passionate to learn but they don't have time to go through classics and then apply and then through experience realize what actually works. Actually, I wish I had done this beginner course in my early years of learning astrology. That would have definitely saved my time. So let me share about my astrology journey. I started with a two year course at ICAS, that is Indian Council of Astrological Sciences. Then I did three years in research class and in this I learned such amazing topics of astrology and I got such amazing gurus and teachers. But when it comes to horoscope analysis, then you need few important techniques. And this my teacher also told me that best astrologers are those who use only four or five techniques and those should be mastered. And this is attained when you apply on good number of charts. Yes, with practice and that you have to do. Nobody can help you in that. So I have created this beginner course like you can see. Now this course has been structured in such a way that I have explained all important topics like planets, houses, friendship and enmity in planets, what are conjunction, aspects, Trishadya houses, divisional charts, Vimshotri Dasha and then finally transit. So I have made 10 modules and you will get a reference guide with this, like this one. So you can check the content also. And this is the best part of the course because I will keep on updating this handbook as per my experience. And this book will help you understand the technique very slowly and patiently. And then read the horoscope following a step by step method. And then there are FAQs as well. So if you have any query, I have answered majority of the queries. This is to give more clarity on the course. Those who are interested, they can enroll and get the access to the videos with the reference guide. Now let's come back to our topic conjunction in astrology. Now today's topic is conjunction in Vedic astrology. See what is conjunction? Whenever two or more planets are posited together in a house like this, they are called planets conjunct. So when two planets are in one house, they develop each other's habits, approach and they share each other's color, traits. If more than two planets, then you should check degree. A closer degree will always have the more impact. Like if first lord conjunct with seventh lord, then if close degrees, close degree as in like four to five degree difference, then one can say my partner will have full influence on me. But if more degrees, like around 15 to 20 degree difference between two planets, then the influence or control will be less. So therefore, more influence versus less influence, but will be influence. They will share each other's traits. There will be some impact on each other. Depends what is the difference between the degree. So now in conjunction, you have to remember if two planets are together, it can be understood in many ways. Relation, first of all, you will check the relationship. If enemies, then that house results will be disturbed. Check degrees, focus on lower degree planet, that will have the impact. This is called Grajud, the lower degree planet wins the war. 
as per class 6 this is called grah yudh so the lower degree planet will have the influence use the planet significance and lordship now let me explain uh, this topic with the help of this case study so here we have sun and saturn so i will be explaining on sun and saturn conjunction like here you can see sun and saturn are in fifth house and sun and saturn here in this chart is in ninth house so what will sun and saturn do let's start with this chart sun and saturn in ninth house first analysis will be lagna lord this is leo lagna lagna lord in ninth house okay in bhagya house but with sixth lord and seventh lord now what is sixth lord sixth lord is trishadha house remember so it represents disease and dispute so here we will say that self physical and mental being is influenced with dispute and disease energy because here self is influenced by the disease lord the dispute lord this person will get irritated very fast because yourself the lagna lord is influenced by this secondly use degree here you can see saturn has 7 degrees sun has more degree it's 26 so there's a good difference between the two planets so now dispute and disease plus relationship also this is influencing the lagna the personality here saturn has a less degree saturn is influencing sun understand like this now this can be negative because a dark energy is influencing you your personality the atma karak sun is the atma karak also here it is lagna lord also so hard work rejections depression is after health because sun represents health saturn is after health your confidence your vitality like this you have to understand the significance of two planets so result will be sun house will not shine this is the sun house this will not shine why because saturn is inimical to sun and that is influencing this personality so saturn will not allow sun to take benefit of his houses disease house and relationship house so this will be ruined and the conjunction is taking place in ninth house of bhagya so bhagya is like that that your luck factor at this disease and dispute energy is influencing the personality now since the there is a huge degree difference so impact will be less but there will be impact now let's see another chart here also you see sun saturn are there now the difference is here sun has less degree saturn has more degree now here the conjunction is in fifth house fifth house of love affair hobby entertainment so look at the fifth house status sun is influencing saturn and this is this saturn who is karma planet is ahead of sun in degrees so now saturn has the traits of sun like he is bright he is intelligent can be good sports person or have connection with higher authorities here sun is 11th lord this is very important to understand the lordship the significance and lordship this changes the entire game saturn is fourth and fifth lord yogkarak planet 11th lord in fifth house so sun is having impact on saturn so this is helping 11th going to 5th house this is a dhan yoga so if sun has less degree saturn has more here it is good so it depends on lordship and most important point in conjunction is that if less degree planet has lordship of 2nd house or 5th house or 11th house 
then it really helps. But if less degree planet has lordship of 8th house, 12th or 6th like in this chart, the less degree planet had the lordship of 6th. So the influence was problems and disappointments. Now most important point in conjunction is that if less degree planet has a lordship of 5, 11 houses, 2, 5 or 11 houses, then it really helps. But if less degree planet has a lordship of 6, 8, 12 houses, then it has a negative impact or it gives disturbance or problems. So this way I have explained about conjunction in Vedic astrology. See while analyzing a horoscope you have to follow your query then proceed. Check the strength of the house and planets involved with your query. Then come to Dasha and transit planets. If you have to check about wealth, check strength of second house or then come to second lord. Then planets associated through aspects and conjunction. Then see running Dasha if strong in D1, D9 but if Pratyantar Dasha is weak or transit Saturn or Jupiter is showing loss then remember once Saturn or Jupiter moves its sign problems will also disappear. So remember every horoscope works in a unique way. So if you read combinations with a systematic approach then you will reach the final word easily else you will be lost in the combinations. So keep learning astrology because this is a divine knowledge and you get to know about all those options of free will that can brighten your life. Take care.